Welcome to Swerve's Beer Review. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Uh, Hi. So uh, we're here with uh, Big Red Angus Lucas. How's it going? He's a pretty avid Bushlight drinker. I'm a pretty big Miller Lite drinker myself. And uh, we figured we'd, we'd try and compare beers. Let's fucking do it. So I'm going to take a little sip ski from my Miller Lite ski here. So we got a white can. What are we, what are we working with here? White can. White can. Looks pretty classy. Really classy. What do you think? Dude, this is my favorite picture to see anywhere. Okay. Look at the bush light can. Here's the bush light can. Looks amazing. It looks like a bush light can. It looks amazing. It's blue. You got mountains. But it's kind of boring. Look at these beers. And this just looks... Go ahead and show the audience. The Miller Lite. What would you guys pick? More inviting than these blue waters and mountains. I guess. Iowa's water versus uh. Iowa's water. A fucking Miller Lite that a Miller Lite isn't is even spelled right. Comanchion Delicioso. What would you pick? It's common sense. You guys watching, you know. So he's still got the Miller Lite. So I'm going to go ahead and crack this. And I'm going to try it. For you guys. You Bush Light drinkers. Oh. Fresh can. Just cracked. It's gold. The first thing I see is a gold top. Which I'm not used to seeing. In a white can. It's got some dark blue on it. It's trying to look good, but it really don't look good. So I'm going to try it. Oh, how's that? Uh, it's, it's not that good. Why is it not that good? It's got more... Beer I don't want to say... Iron? I don't want to say more carbonation... It's got less carbonation, but it's got more, like, it does have a more beer taste, hoppier taste. Yeah. Bush Light has a more drinkable taste. This what? is something, I think this is a beer that you would get on draft. And it would probably be that makes better. Sense. I see that. I think a draft Miller Light would be better than a canned Miller Light. What do you think? I actually have to concur with you. I do like a draft of Miller Lite, but if I have to drink it, I want it in a short 12 ounce can. Little tall boys, they stress the flavor. Other than that, I mean, I don't like the can. It got, it has like a little hop here, a little fake hop leaf coming up. I don't even know what you call that. And that, I mean, is that their logo? They spell light completely wrong. I'm pretty sure. I don't it's know a if you can there. see that or not, but they, when they, they spell this, it completely wrong. When they release this, this is the first thing known as a light beer. Back oh, so in you got history on this or what? Seventies, eighties area. The eighties. It was the first light beer. The first one. So they is say. Miller Light. Yeah. L I T E? L I T E, because they're trying to be fashionable. I don't know. It's just not. It's just not a good beer. You know what I mean? You're crazy. I can drink it. But. Let's hear what you have to say about Bushlight. Let's hear it. Look at this. It's a boring can. Who wants to drink that? No glow top, nothing to inspire me. This stuff's like 
Maybe I got a Pepsi at the store or something. Hey, guess what? We're going to open you up. We're going to have some good uh, Pepsi and Joy Times. Whatever it is. It's spelled right. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, man. I don't say like that. Is it guess not? what? That's exactly what it is. They're not fashionable. Let's not be fun here, man. I like to eat because we like. Girl. The light or the light? Oh you my. pick. What do you guys pick? <laughs> I'm Probably the one spelled right. Just saying. Not the junk yet. It's so boring. Who cares? We like fun. So the commercials say that you all bush. That it keeps going. And bush. I don't hear it. I don't hear it. How are you guys is this doing? Big pickle. What's up, Big pickle? Figured I'd stop by just for a little chit chat. Welcome. He's just about to review the Great Bush Light, Iowa's water. Let's see it. Well, that's awesome. Let's hear it. Let me shut this door you so all the haters can't it hear. It tastes like chalk, man. Chalk. Like it's flat. It's, there's something that's not right with it. Doesn't taste like a beer. But after the four or five of them, it tastes like a beer. I would say the the bush light is more bubbly. It's you don't know, if, if that it's makes bush sense. light. It's boring. It's a beer. I it's think it's nothing, there's nothing more I can elaborate on it. It's boring. It's more and carbonated. Everybody drinks it. On a second thought, let's go to the second thought. Let's What's the it, second baby? thought? I do like a fine pilsner, and I do like a bush latte. So I'm gonna have to vote. They're pretty much even. Even. Damn. No, no chalk in bush light. No chalk. No. I don't agree with I, that. I agree with you, Connor. I want to know why you think that they're even. Well. What are your two main points that puts them even? The fine pilsner pretty much blows that out of the water. Good flavor. The bush latte... It's an Iowa thing. If you live in Iowa, you drink Bush Light. So, so God damn it. I mean, that's true. So that you true. only drink Bush Roots. Light because you live in Iowa? Nope, that's my number one because I live in Iowa. Okay. That's my number point. two is Miller. And I do like a fine Pilsner. Why, B? Why do you like a fine Pilsner? Because it just... How about you take it a... It piques food? my interest. Oh, there's a little a change up. There's two of them, man. Yeah, let take me take sip. one sip. What do you think? I'm going to turn the tab because I turned my tab to the right. To get the full flavor and aeration. Aeration. Another proven awesome fact of Miller Lite. Very good, Pilsner. Very good. Okay. Let's see your... Uh, I do have a bush light. Comparison when you drink a bush light? Jacuzzi. He says me. But bush light, as you can see, I'm going to take a dip. Dip in the pool. A tip in the pool. The old blue pool. That's a blue frosty. And that right there is fucking America. Alright, Connor. I want to hear something from you. What do you think about the can comparison? Can yes. We're going white. What looks better? What white looks better? Miller Lite Pilsner versus a Bush Latte. Which See, is also now, known as a this blue This one frosty. here is spelled wrong, and it's white. No, oh, you can't see that. This you one here blue the cameras. is a blue bush latte. It's let's hear bright. what let's hear what you have to say, Connor. What do you think here? Well, why do you go first ahead? of all number let's one? Why do you, you go can ahead? Just what cans okay. look awesome? I will have to say they do sell more bush light, but. The can on the Miller is premium. Now you said... <laughs> Fuck yeah. Now you said they do sell more. Who are you referring to, Connor? Bars, etc. And why is that? America. Bush <laughs> fucking latte. No, I want to I hear your real fucking review, Connor. This Look is... at these cans. Now, if you were going to pick them based off the can, which would you pick? 
If you never had, very hard decision. If you never had this beer before, if you never have either of these beers. If, well, yeah, if you've it never all seen depends it. on a preference. Look at this, Connor. If you never, if I never saw one, and I said I'm gonna try a fucking beer, it'd be Miller Lite. Wow! Fuck yeah! All because of the decal. It's a good looking can, man. What? What's it's the a decal? Great looking can. Connor. It's a fine pilsner, and you don't see a lot of fine pilsners out there. So for you viewers, another point. Proven. I want to. I want to hear what his uh, bias is on this decal. Because I don't see a decal on here. The only thing I would see a decal is right here. So, Connor. That's your Pilsner bush. Connor, what would you pick as the decal? This is what, what he, this is what he's looking at, all right? If I had to choose, pick and choose between the two circles. Yep. What would you pick? Obviously, bush light. But... I do like the old school Miller Lite can. I see what they're doing there. They're giving it a gold top, which is cool. But what it, what is with the white? I'm gonna ask you one question while we're still live here. Okay. Which one is made out of wheat and which one is made out of rye? Uh, Bush Light is made out of corn. Which the Iowa boys tend to like. So back um, to my question, Evan. Could you tell us? Is Miller Lite a wheat? Could you tell us what that's made out of? Do uh, you know? I know it's a fine pills day. Okay. Is this it wheat? made out of corn, which supports Iowa farmers, which I support, which I like, because here in Iowa, you know, we farm. We hunt, we fish, and we fucking Every try day to That's all there is to and it. And that's what we do. And Evan here, what do you do? What do you do that supports? Uh, he helps out with concrete I construction. Am. And I he am. is a phenomenal bar owner. He is a great I bar people. owner. I love everybody. But great people. He loves farmers. Idea, he loves farmers, key. and he doesn't support a fucking good beer brewed with corn which leads me to say he likes bush and what is miller light brewed with evan <laughs> you know well you uh, might not know this you might not know i'm pretty sure we went over this probably before this whole drug and rant went on but uh it's a it's a, it's a true pilsner oh it's a fine pilsner that's all everyone that drinks <laughs> Miller Lite sets. That's all you need to know. We, uh, we made it with very good ingredients. And if Evan would move his head for a minute, there's an awesome sign right behind his head. And I would like everybody to see that as well. That is a Budweiser sign. I do like Budweiser. Everyone that drinks Bush Light knows this is the Midwest water. They fucking love it. They also know it's brewed with corn. What does Evan know about a, a fine pilsner? I'm almost. It, it sounds almost to me like nothing. that's a wheat, isn't it? How about you read it? I say I couldn't tell you, but I'm gonna read something here. Yeah, you read it. I don't have to read it because I know. I don't drink it enough to care. Uh, Connor, you drink it plenty, but it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah I'm reading it right now. It's a fine pilsner. Yep. We're just gonna call that a fine pilsner. It's really all you need to know. Nothing. See here, Lucas knows. It's very good. Red Angus knows this is brewed with corn. He even has a redhead. It's beautiful. Logo on his hat. Just can you the show can. the camera that? Take that off your head for a minute and zoom look in on that. Look at the can. Zoom in on that, Luke. And it's the, fucking with amazing. With the redhead. He drew that in kindergarten. That's right. I'm proud of you. That's right. Thank you, Connor. He has a lot of accomplishments in life. Thank you, Connor. And so does this bar owner over here. <clears throat> it may not be a couple weeks. It may not be a couple months. It could be a year. When them bars open back up. Everyone's going to pickle my pickle. 
Tickle my pickle. All right. And that'll end the episode. Thank you for watching. Bush light all day. Swerve don't know shit. Miller light. Hold true.